air conditioning in your vintage Porsche 911? Are you crazy? Turns out you're not crazy because that's exactly what we're going to unbox today on Wrench. So a company called Classic Retrofit is making an electrical retrofit air conditioning unit. Let me say that again, an electrical retrofit air conditioning unit for your vintage 911. Now, if you're like me, there's been a lot of long rides with sweaty bums in 100 degree temperatures in your car. And my car being a 1969 911, never had air conditioning. So I am really excited to see what comes in this box. Now, Johnny over at Classic Retrofit sent this over for us to unbox and check it out. Let me tell you something. This thing is beautiful. It is so beautifully done. There's two boxes of parts. And uh, right now I've got the big box. Ugh, this is the blower unit. This will replace your existing blower unit. Go right under the cowl of your 911. It is made of billet aluminum, or anodized aluminum anyway. It's gorgeous and beautifully engineered. Uh, so this is sort of the main heart of the unit. And you can see the articulation and all of the inlet ports and outlet ports, um, as well as this plug, which plugs into your existing blower unit. So this is the heart and soul. So we'll start there. Ah, all right. Here's the fan and the condenser. This is meant to be mounted under the driver's side fender. Now I'm gonna need to do something a little tricky with it because I have a battery box on my 1969 911 that's right in the way of where this is meant to be mounted. So I either have to relocate it to the rear fender, so in front of the rear wheels uh, under my flares, or I've gotta cut one of the battery boxes out. Right now, they're both an option. I haven't decided on which one I'm gonna do yet, but uh, there's that. Next, I've got a pair of 68 millimeter T fittings. Uh, these will connect in line with your existing piping and connect to the blower unit. This is the hood inlet restrictor gasket. Easy enough. We've got some 50 millimeter ducting here. This goes in the uh, footwell to make snorkels in the footwell. We'll get into that when we actually install the thing. We've got a bracket right here. This is the dryer horseshoe bracket. I don't wanna put that on top of there. We have the filter receiver dryer. Uh, I don't know where this mounts yet. We'll figure that out. We've got some hosing. You, you custom make this. Um, one of the cool things about this kit is it has almost everything you need um, in the kit. So we've got uh, a couple of hoses, number six and a number eight, a C hose. We have a whole ton of fittings and you name it. We've got everything you need. To, uh, to connect all these tubes together. More uh, gasket, some bag, a ton of fuses. Bag O fuses, I don't know what those do yet. We'll figure that out. This is the um, expansion valve. This is a really cool piece. I can imagine how much engineering went into this thing, but this is the expansion valve. And finally, we've got just a couple of minor, we got a little clear tube and a couple of bits. I don't know what this stuff does yet. Let's see. Um, that's the AC fittings pack. This is, yeah, cable ties. Just some stuff is what this is. It's some stuff that will help us with this install. So that is box number one. Let's open box number two. First and foremost, we've got the compressor and ECU. So this is the uh, lifeblood of the electronics and the uh, your pumping station, essentially. As far as I remember, this mounts in your smuggler's box. So if you already have a relocated battery, you might have to customize some stuff, but this uh, should mount right to the smuggler's box with the brackets included. So I'll put that right back there. Ah, we've got wiring harnesses. So this is the main harness with the gray connectors. And we have fan relay, button harnesses. One of the really cool things about this is this really neat button. So this mounts, this little guy mounts right in your dashboard and it's got this cool little LED and then that's how you know it's on and off. 
Really cool. So anyway, that goes there. And uh, we've got the gray, and we've got uh, fan relay harnesses. We've got temperature sensor harnesses, all these. Here's what's crazy. Is it like right now, this feels intimidating. I'm like, man, I don't, I mean, look at all the stuff. I don't know what this is. The directions for this install are a living document. And the reason why they don't include them with the kit is because Johnny keeps updating them. Every time somebody installs this and has a new suggestion, they rewrite the rules. So you can find the rules and the install guide on classicretrofit.com. For me, I'm super excited about beginning this process. I'm just about to go on my fifth or sixth Target California. You can see these things behind me. These are 1500 mile, five day road rallies in either California or Mexico. I cannot tell you how nice it will be to have air conditioning in the car for those things. Now, a couple of caveats. My car is a 3.6 in it, which means it has a modern alternator, which is capable of putting out a little more output. One of the things about an electrical air conditioning unit is that it's not uh, compressor pumped from your engine. So you're not losing horsepower. The downside of that is you gotta have the electrical juice to run this whole kit and the caboodle. So there are some things within the install guide that make you check that your car is capable and ready for this install. Now, I'm pretty sure my car is ready for this. We'll know once we dig in uh, in the next episode, but What's cool about this is the whole thing fits basically in the front of the vehicle. So that's one of the great perks. Number two, it's really light. I mean, all things considered, it's probably half the weight of a traditional Porsche air conditioning unit, which is awesome, again, for our cars. Better weight distribution, simpler to install. Um, it doesn't require cutting any holes in your body shell. I'm gonna say that again. It doesn't require cutting any holes in your vintage 911. That to me is awesome, as mine is a 1969. Um, it's more energy efficient, it uses less than one horsepower, and um, with, with it being electrically driven, it saves fuel. So you don't have to worry when you're low on fuel, flipping the air conditioning off. Anyway, classicretrofit.com, all the links are in the description. Super excited about this, and I hope you'll join me in this journey. Feel free to fire any questions, and if you haven't already, uh, click that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, and I will be providing this and many other cool DIY tips and tricks for your air-cooled 911.